Hello, welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. I am back with the sexual tarot read for the month of November. Once again, this is a collection of energies, guys. So take what resonates. I'm trying to throw as many messages out there as possible. So if it resonates, take what resonates, lead the rest. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe button, that notification bell. Because you know I always drop for Aries. So definitely come back. Once again, also, I'm a district leader for Primerica, so if anyone is interested, I'm looking for recruits in the state of Nevada. But also, if you just need to have a quote, you want a quote on your life insurance, auto, home, 401k, mutual funds, hit me up. Send me a link below. I can definitely give you a quote on that, okay? Check it out. See, see if it's better, right? Okay, so... Of course, this is sexual tarot, so I pull from my romance oracle deck, my hidden truth deck, and also my bucket oracle card. So we're going to start with them first. All right. First cards that came out was find someone who is fucking kind and fucking normal. So Spirit wants you to find someone who is kind and normal. Leave these nice today leave these people that do not serve you any justice could be Carmitas, Carmichaels now when I say that I mean people who is not healed mentally spiritually okay who knows they need to get help but they choose not to and they choose to be in your life to constantly keep bringing it down bring your vibration down sucking your energy sucking your money sucking your time they're energy vampires and they know it All right, and Heartbreaker is playing right now by Justin Bieber. So somebody's a heartbreaker, but you guys know you need to let this person go. Some of you are still codependent because we got it on the board. I'm going to show you the card, okay? Spirit said you need to let go. Let God set healthy boundaries for this person, okay? It says if you have to fucking spy on them, you are not ready to love or they are not trustworthy, guys. We have to spy, look through the phone, search through the internet to see what your person is doing. That's already red flags. Okay, if you, that's, you're not trusting this person. So if you're not going to trust them, why be with someone you can't trust? You're just, you know... Setting yourself up for failure, basically. It says they are not playing with a full deck of cards. So what did you fucking expect from this relationship? They was crazy when you met them. Spirit say, what you fucking expect? You thought they were going to be nice right soon after you married them or you moved in or whatever you did? No, they're going to still be the same way. It says, lower your expectations. No one is fucking perfect. Okay, so this is for, I feel like, high vibrational Aries. Okay. Maybe you got a certain expectation that you want out of your man or woman. And spirits say you have to lower that because you're not perfect either, Aries. So you can't be trying to expect for, it's okay to have expectations, guys. But we do have to be realistic. You want a man with money. You want a man that's six pack 12 pack okay that means you need to be matching that vibration that's just the truth you can't be judging others when you ain't did nothing on yourself so uh, that's just saying i'm just saying you need to raise your vibration up before you want to have these high all expectations there's nothing wrong with that you know but like i said you gotta match the vibration okay you can't go in unhealed god seen you the perfect person and you 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 going in a relationship codependent. That ain't going to work for nobody. Okay? So you got to work on yourself before you have all these high expectations. Spirit say, lower your expectations. No one is fucking perfect. Everybody have a past. You got to learn how to forgive. Okay? All right. So that was the Deja Vu deck. I mean Deja Vu. Ooh. I must be having deja vu. But that was the um, fuck it oracle deck. 
All right, so romance angels, what came out is codependence. Addictions are affecting your life. So some of y'all are with some codependent, still in a codependent relationship. Spirit say this is not your twin flame soulmate. This is not your true love. It's a Carmesha, Carmichael. And they're very codependent and they're energy vampires and they're draining. Spirit say this is not your soulmate person, guys. You gotta use your discernment. God is not going to send you someone that's hurting your feelings, cheating on you and all that. And they ain't trying to get themselves together. They codependent on you. They waiting on you. That's codependency. Putting others before yourself. Or holding on too tight to somebody that you know that ain't, drain, that ain't raising your vibration at all. Let it go. All right, so then we had chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction, 555. As I said that, look up that angel number that talks about making a change. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Okay, so this person want to come back. Reconciliation. This could be the karmic. They want to come back. And also, this could be your divine masculine. They want to come back to you. They're saying the timing just wasn't right for you guys. They replay conversations over and over in their mind. And they knew exactly what they was doing. So, some of them self-sabotage the connection for a karmic here. A codependent snake. Okay. But now it's saying, this is, I feel like, we need to let each other go. See, it's in reverse. They don't want to let you go. They realize that this person is codependent. And, and this person could be codependent. You could be codependent. Take your story hat, go, guys. I'm reading the energy. They saying they lost themselves for a little while here. They wonder if you're happy without them. And they want to feel that way again. Okay? So I feel like this is over reconciliation. Some of you, the karmics, want to come back. They want to feel that way because it's all about sex and money for them. Right? Others of you, this is your divine masculine. They're thinking about you. They know they sabotage. They say, I know exactly what I was doing. So they sabotage the situation. And now they want to come back. All right. So for codependency, because I clarified codependency in past lives in reverse. I was trying to figure out what's going on. Spirit gave me set healthy boundaries. Now, you could have set healthy boundaries with this person or this is what Spirit is trying to tell you. Set healthy boundaries with this codependent person. It's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you can have Aries in your chart. Okay? This karmic has a side dude or chick, Spirit is saying. This water sign here. Or it could be a water sign. But this is a water sign who has a side dude. Spirit say you need to set healthy boundaries. This person don't love you. It ain't your true soulmate. And she codependent. And she dangerous, Spirit is saying. So set healthy boundaries with this person. Yeah, let go and let God. Let God take care of you. Send you something that's Way better than this hot ass mess, whoever I'm talking to. Because they scared to commit. Your divine masculine could be scared to commit as well. And so they stuck it they feel like they're stuck in this relationship. But you're not stuck. That's just what you tell in your mind. You can get out of anything. Cause they got romantic feelings for you. So I feel like they just scared so they gonna stay here with the karmic. Because they know they love you. And they say, I left when I saw you with someone. So you could have been with someone. They ran up on you and they left. Knowing they loved you here. Or you could have left when you saw them with this Carmesha. Now they want to come back to you. That's what I got. Take your story and I go. So it started coming out. And this what came out here. I'll go this way. Okay, Spirit says... I'll um, read this. This person is going to express their love. Okay? They are coming back to express their love. Spirit say. Now, this, I may be reading for another high vibrational set of areas. Take y'all's story now. I told you. I'll come out with different stories. Sorry, guys. My, my kids playing basketball. Y'all hear my mama yell. 
All right, I'm back. Okay. So this person wanna express their love to you. Spirit say this will be new love. Okay. Now you may be getting a new brand new love. For some of you, you don't want your twin back, then God will send in a brand new love and they're gonna come express themselves. But I thought so too, but it said give your relationship a chance. So I feel like this person gonna come back and then we do see reconciliation here on the board. Spirit say get to know each other because you guys got chemistry. But they do need to, some of them is tied down with a codependent karmic seal. Some of them have already set boundaries. And now they're trying to come back to you. Spirit say you're going to need to forgive. It says as you release and heal the past, you experience more happiness in your moments. So you're going to, you should forgive and learn. So give it a chance. Spirit say trust the process, Okay. Right, because y'all definitely got passion for each other. And this is another group I'm talking to right now. Alright. Others of you, the karmic has some secret children that you don't know about. Okay? She's been having sex with someone else. Okay. So spirits say you will be getting new love. You just need to trust the process and let this person go. Okay. So I pull some cards on it. I have secret children nobody knows. So that fell over the children. And then I said, who got secret children nobody knows, spirit? Karmic partner. So you could have an Aries karmic partner that got secret children nobody knows. Spirit say, she's not having no big happy changes. It came out in reverse. Okay. Something could have happened in these winter months here. They say she was selling her body for cash. So she could have been selling her body for cash if she got pregnant. She got a secret child you didn't know about. Also, Fez is watching this situation here. This karmic is using black magic on you. 1221 as I said that. Spirit say you are protected. So no worries. Because it is true love. You got true love coming. Some of y'all got new, brand new loves. Other of you, you, this person coming back. This divine masculine. Spirit say it's going to be a peaceful resolution. Because these karmic cycles are closed. This person closed down a cycle. Could have been with a fire sign. So Aries, you could be the karmic. Or the divine feminine. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It was an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So this, these was the two that's doing the black magic. Spirits say they don't love themselves. So the karmic dude could be an earth sign or a fire sign. And she's selling her body for cash. She could be paying her for sex. But the feds is watching. She's not going to have no happy changes. And she got a secret kid. Be a male or female. But spirits say the family love you, divine feminine, divine masculine. Remain positive. Everything gonna be okay. You is gonna have a new job coming soon. Cause you are a star spirit city. So no worries. Okay. And also they know that you are gonna have something coming soon. These two earth signs and fire signs. Karmic cycle is closed, guys. Your black magic ain't working. You are protected, spirit say. And y'all going the feds is watching y'all anyway. So y'all about to go to jail pretty soon. Could be this winter month too. Or next winter month. One of these months. So they unhappy because they got pregnant by somebody else because they were selling their body for cash. And it's not the Divine Masculine's baby. And he's going to find out. And when he do, he's going to come express his love to you. That's what I got for some of you. Others of you, this karmic, you need to let go because she's dangerous. She probably threatening your masculine. A water sign here. And she may have a water sign karmic dude or chick. 
that she cheating on them with. Spirit say they need to set healthy boundaries because this person codependent and it ain't your true love. This is not your path, your your soulmate. All right, so let's just get some of my cards out and then I guess that's gonna be it. So Holy Spirit for Aries, Aries person, personal Aries mind. What do they want to say to Aries that they have not said to Aries? They want your love on top, Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? What messages for Aries person, personal Aries mind? What do they have to say? I don't want to talk today. They heard how you are in bed, Aries. And that's too much. They masturbate to your pictures. They want you to stroke it. Yep, that must be true. I'm stalking the P. They stalking the P. They watching you, Aries. Watching your social media. They know it's some good fortune and sex. Good luck, fortunate. You the soulmate. They gonna bring you some flowers and candies. They so horny for you, Aries. The thought of you drowning well. They heard how you are in bed. Some of you having. They having some broke back mountain sex now. I told you we had. Uh, Carmen got a side dude. Some ooh, hit it. Sirens. So this is true. They could be gay for pain. Some of them is gay for pain. This could be a, a gay relationship. Gay partner. Karma could have a, a lesbian partner on the side. Because she got a high sex drive. Spirit say. The sirens is going off. Bubble bath. They definitely want to rub you down. They want to drive by your house, Aries. Be careful, they could be stalking you. The karmic's mad that you walked away, so they stalking you. You ain't licking it, because it came out in reverse, so that's why they mad. But they want to lick it before you stick it. They want to know what you accept their kinky side, Aries. You deserve this pussy and pants. They, they know you are the one. Vacation sex getaway with someone new. So, yeah, you may have a lot of y'all is, is coming into some new partnerships here without your masculine or feminine. They're going to come out and say, what's their name? What's your name? Some of them. The karmics want you to choke them while they having sex, child. Who over here? I have secret children. Nobody knows. So they want you to choke them while they having sex. That must be true. They like to get choked up, see. They used to all that. It's really a mental sickness, for real. But anyway, anywhere, anytime, any place, they want to have or play with you. They like missionary sex. They want to look into your eyes while they have sex with you. And they've been thinking about you, that thing all night. That's all they do. Because they know who they want. They heard how you are in bed. Somebody must have told them something. They definitely horny for you. The masculine uh, and the karmic partners, they want you to choke them up because they like their eye black. See, they like to get their eye black. So, they want the masculine. Well, I can't make it up. Divine masculine. They want the masculine to choke them up. And it's also say, I want love, not sex. So the my masculine ones want love. They, they don't want sex no more. It's boring. But anyway, the karmics want, they like they eye getting black. You see what I'm saying? So they like, they, they, they like getting choked because they, they sick. It's a sickness. And so they want the divine masculines to be choking them and all that old paid shit. Because they're sick. But, you know, let them tell it, oh, that's my fetish. No, that's just because you're sick in the head. Let's keep it real. But anyway, 
All right, that's been your message, Aries. I'm going to stop there at 20 minutes exactly. Once again, what goes around, always come back around again. Deja vu tarot. Peace.